All right, here we go. Adding integers. Please grab that link to the virtual manipulatives and follow along. I will uh, kind of be bouncing back and forth between my slides here and the integer chip manipulative that you have, but please follow along. Now, two things before we start. Number one, we've already established, pretend with me please, we've already established with our students that addition means you have multiple quantities, in this case two, three and five, and addition tells us that we're gonna combine those quantities. And it's very important that our students leverage, we leverage their understanding of addition that we've established previously with our base 10 blocks, that addition is this idea of combining, joining, putting together, whatever phrase you wanna use, combining these two quantities. And whatever the result is of that combination is the new total, the new sum from this problem, three plus five. The second thing is that students have to already have been familiar with and comfortable with making number quantities in multiple ways. Not just literally counting how many chips are on the table, but recognizing the idea of value. Like a positive and a negative chip, even though there's two chips, a positive and a negative chip have a value of zero. Zero pairs is gonna be an important part of the development as well. And so, here we go, three plus five. Grab your manipulatives and grab three positive chips. And then grab five positive chips. Now, watch my video for a minute. And if you would do this with your manipulative, that'd be great. But it's very important that kids start making sense of this with just two positive quantities. Very tangible, very concrete, very um, uh, connecting to what they already know. And that's an important place to start is connecting with they, what they already know. So we start with three plus five, and it's very important that we see this action now. Addition is like a verb, it's an action. We're gonna take three, we're gonna take five, and we're gonna combine them. So on my slide here, watch. No, it wasn't that dramatic. But putting them together is gonna be an important part so we preserve what addition means, is combining. And when you combine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you now have eight chips on the screen, and we can say so. Three plus five is equal to eight. Now, pause the video and actually go through those actions. You'll see we're going to get into the negatives here soon. And it's going to be important for you to have this action. And it's important for students to have this action as well. So pause the video. Do it with your manipulatives. Thank you. So I hope you did it, but here's what it would look like. You would have to drag out uh, for three plus five, you would drag out three positive chips and then five positive chips. There we go. And then you should actually push them together. Now you may not fully get why that's so important, but trust me, you'll see as we move forward that it's gonna be important for our students to actually literally say three plus five and pull those chips together. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three plus five is eight. Oh, by the way, if you had an extra chip like I just did, you can clear it. Just select it and then clear it. Oh, I selected two of them. Sorry about that. You can clear the marked chips with the bomb. All right, so three plus five is eight is how that should look and feel. Now, we're gonna go back and do another one. Let's start getting some negatives into the mix now. All right, here we go. So three plus five was eight because we pushed them together. But now, what if we had negative three plus negative five? Now, everyone take a deep breath. Sometimes the rules, I mean, I'm gonna even be more aggressive than that. Most of the time, the rules that we teach students get in the way of learning. For instance, sometimes I've had students over the years say, oh, I remember this two negatives makes a positive. Now that's just a rule that is not even applicable in this case. Two negatives does not make a positive always. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. And this is where the thinking and the representation and all the stuff we talk about with the math practices becomes so important. 
negative 3 plus negative 5. Let's just go slow. Are you ready? All right, so negative 3. We pull out three negative chips. Negative 5. We pull out five negative chips. Now, what does addition mean? Addition means combining quantities. So we push together, we combine, we join negative 3 plus negative 5, and what do you have? The only thing you can have is what you see on that screen, negative 8. Negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8 because if you take three negative chips and five negative chips and push them together, you've got eight negative chips. Look at it. I'm getting all excited here because the rule um, that students sometimes apply here gets them in the wrong place because they memorized a rule, then they applied it where it doesn't apply. A negative times a negative is a positive, but a negative plus a negative is not. So the rule, and in fact, rushing to the algorithm just gets in the way of understanding. Don't even worry about the algorithm. Just ask students to think. Three negatives plus five negatives is eight negatives because look, it's right there in front of your eyes. So the answer is negative eight. Now, here's what happens. Students are working on this and um, they are doing lots of problems like this. And maybe a student in your class goes, well, wouldn't it always be the case that if you have a negative quantity and you add another negative quantity, the answer will always be negative? And as soon as you get a student to recognize a general pattern, remember um, the standard mathematical practices about looking for and recognizing repeated reasoning, repeated reasoning. When a student recognizes that, you stop everything. And you say, students say that to the whole class. They say, well, I think a negative plus a negative would always be a negative. Hey class, what do you think of that? Yeah, that makes sense because if you have some red chips and you add some more red chips, you're going to have red chips. It's going to be negative. And man, as soon as the kids come to that and whoever said it first, may oh, it's Johnny. You make a big poster. Johnny's rule. Johnny's rule is that two negatives always add to produce a negative and here's why. We listen to Johnny's reasoning, we critique his reasoning, and then as a class, we come to a place where we accept Johnny's rule. You see? The rule that we ultimately want our students to learn emerges from their experiences, their thinking, their understanding. Hey, pause the video. Go do this. You just have to have the experience. Grab those chips on that uh, application, that little app that I have, and make negative three plus negative five happen for you and take some time to think about it. Pause the video, please. All right, here it is. Negative three plus negative five. It's really important for our kids to have this experience where they actually add, meaning action, verb, meaning put the two quantities together. So if you had a negative three and you combined it with a negative five, what would you end up with? And you can clearly see it. It can be nothing but a negative eight. It's not like, oh, I can't remember. Uh, two negatives, I'm, I'm just so not good with negative numbers. I can't remember. It's not about remembering. It's about having a visual way of making sense of it. Imagine kids who have done this with chips. And then later on, maybe even years later, they're in a class and they have to do negative three plus negative five. They can just almost close their eyes and see three red chips and five red chips, eight red chips. That's it. All right, now keep going. We got two more rounds of this. Keep going. Pause the video. Think through this. See if you're making sense of it. But I got one more. So we've seen a situation where you have two positive numbers, three plus five. You've seen a situation where you have two negative numbers, negative three plus negative five, but what if you have one of each? Negative three plus five. All right, just go back to the thinking. We don't have to remember a rule like if you, hopefully you saw my son Zach from a long time ago, he would do something like this. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Different signs of track. Keep the sign of that. Like he has to sing the song, which by the way is true in terms of a fact, in terms of trivia, but it's not mathematical thinking. Let's go back to mathematical thinking. You've got three negatives, there they are. You've got five positives, there they are. 
Addition is an action. We're going to combine those two quantities. So push them together. Now, what do you have? Now, this is where that whole zero thing has to have happened. Imagine students in a classroom actively engaged in this and they push together the chips and they can now see it because that's a zero pair and that's a zero pair and that's a zero pair. And so when you take out the zero pairs, what remains? Two positives. Now, let's go back here for a minute. Remember when we said that we don't literally count the chips. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's eight chips, like eight monies. <laughs> yeah, there's eight chips. But what's the value of those eight, eight chips? This is like a birdie and a bogey. This is like uh, it's one below zero and the temperature goes up one degree. Whatever context you want, those positive and negatives make zeros. And so this collection of chips really has a value of two. Now, will you please pause the video? and go play with it on your app and uh, find those zero pairs and just take two minutes and think through what's happening here. So in my case, I had negative three and we're gonna add it to positive five. And it's important that we go through this action. Now it's so much better in the classroom with actual manipulatives because students can just put out the chips and they can literally push the chips together for you, you're going to have to click and drag, but when you click and drag and put those chips together, look for and look for structure in this thing. Look at that. A negative and a positive make a zero. A negative and a positive make a zero. A negative and a positive make a zero. So if we select zero pairs, we can just clear them out. Zero pairs, clear them out. Zero pairs, clear them out. So negative three plus five combine and make positive two. Now, the beautiful thing about that is you don't have to sing the song. Students, after lots of experiences and after years and think about the mathematical practices, they've looked for structure, they're engaged in repeated reasoning. A student is going to make an observation, especially if they're in a culture where that's expected. A student is going to make an observation like, well, let's see. If you've got a negative number and a positive number and you combine them, let's say there's more yellow chips in this context. There's more yellow chips than red chips. If there's more yellow chips than red chips, when you combine them, all the red and yellow pairs, and there's more yellow than red, all the red and yellow pairs are going to make zero, leaving you with some more yellow chips. So if there's more yellow chips, the sum will be positive. If there's more red chips, the sum will be negative. Like, so imagine students are now thinking that through. There's no rules that they have to memorize. They're thinking. Now, as soon as that rule is made, you know, Sally. Sally comes up with this rule. You make a big deal of it. You have a discussion about it. And if the class agrees, yes, that makes sense. Sally's rule. And you make a rule about it once the students get there. All right, now, one more thing. Negative three plus five. Now watch what happened when my Zach, son Zach song, same sign, any different signs subtract. Why is it that when we add positives and negatives, it feels like subtraction? All right, let me try that again. Negative three plus five. When we add these things together, and we start to get organized in our structure. When we combine these quantities, look what happened. The three negatives and the five positives join together to make zero. And when you make zero pairs, they disappear. And doesn't that feel like subtraction? So yes, absolutely. Negative three plus five feels like five minus three because it's connected. And that's okay. That's part of fluency. When students can see negative three plus five as adding two quantities, but can also see it as equivalent to subtraction, beautiful. Negative three plus five is the same thing as five minus three. What a beautiful moment. But let that moment happen as students think and reason and look for structure. Don't just tell them. Let them figure it out. And I think these manipulatives help them figure it out.
All right, we got one more. So negative 3 plus 5. First of all, negative 3 plus 5, the action of combining quantities. There's the addition. But then it's equivalent to subtraction because you do both. So negative 3 plus 5 being equivalent to 5 minus 3, the beautiful moment. I hope you can see it. And it's 2 either way you look at it. All right, what about 3 plus negative 5? What if you have 3? Now again, again, don't, no rules, no songs, no rhymes, just thinking. 3 plus negative 5. Combine them together. Now, when you take out the zero pairs, what's left? Oh, now there's more negatives. There's more reds than there were white chips. And if there's more red chips than white chips, when you combine them together, all the white chips are going to get eliminated, and you're going to be left with the red chips. So you're left with negative 2. Notice the thinking, looking for structure, repeated reasoning. Over time, students are going to see these patterns. And they're going to be able to say, especially if they're in a culture where that's expect, expected and encouraged, students will start to make these observations and share their thinking. And when they do, you make a big deal of it and you put it on the screen. So negative uh, uh, 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2 because you can see it. I hope you can see it. Hey, go to the app and see if you can... Make sense of it. Pause the video. Try it for yourself. So imagine with the app or with in the classroom, there's there's these they're called two sided counters. There's uh, manipulatives that most elementary schools have. They're red and yellow, and it's um, pretty conventional for yellow to be positive and red to be negative. And so if you had three plus negative five, kids would put out three positive chips. They'd put out five negative chips. And because addition means combining quantities, they would combine the quantities. And as they combine the quantities, it doesn't take long for them to start to see those zero pairs emerge. And when zero pairs emerge, we've combined. So addition is happening. But as soon as you make those zero pairs, you've also subtracted. So to see that adding and subtracting are equivalent in integer operations is a beautiful thing that students should see. But negative 5 plus negative 3, uh, what did I say? 3 plus negative 5 is indeed negative 2 because it is. You could see it happen.